Greetings, Captain. Welcome back to Honkai Operations Center. In recent stories of Honkai Impact 3rd, Mei has been the center of stage. She returned to the city of Nagazora, regained her Hersher powers, and once again became the Queen of Thunder. How did this heiress of a multi-billion dollar corporation turn into a Hersher? What did she experience and witness? To answer these questions, we have divided May's journey into four parts. Origins, Valkyrie, Arc Fugitive, and Returning to Nagazora. May Raiden was born on April 13, 1997 in the city of Nagazora. Her father, Ryoma Raiden, was the head of Massive Electric Corporation. May's mother, however, passed away when she was young and her name remained a mystery. May was enrolled in the elite high school of Chiba Academy. Only children of rich, powerful, and connected people could hope to study there. And May Raiden happened to be one of them, and she was so much more. She was beautiful, tall, and intelligent. Everyone in school idolized her. But this didn't last forever. Disaster struck ME Corp that her father owned. Ryoma Raiden became a criminal, guilty of economic fraud, and went missing to avoid arrest. May's life was turned upside down, her classmates and even teachers turned cold and ostracized her. That was when she learned that their friendship and adulation were only reserved for her family fortune and prestige, and those had disappeared when her father ran away. Left alone to face an uncaring world, May soon became extremely jaded and started hearing a voice echoing in the darkness. It promised terrible powers. This world deserves to be destroyed. She chose to become a Hersher and ignited the 2014 Honkai outbreak in Nagazora. Millions died as a result. While May reveled in her new powers, a mysterious silver-haired transfer student named Kiana Kaslana suddenly appeared to stop her. Instead of trying to kill May for destroying the city, Kiana appealed to her human conscience. With her help, May successfully subdued the Hersher within and Kiana quickly became a close friend. The two girls met Bronya, and the three of them worked together to flee the stricken city. They were then taken into custody by Himiko, a Valkyrie of Sheiksal's Far East Branch. Teresa Apocalypse, who's in charge of the Far East Branch, used all her powers and resources to enroll the three girls into her own Valkyrie training school, St. Freya High. And that was May Raiden, an ex heiress once worth billions who lost both her parents, became ostracized, acquired Hersher powers, destroyed a city, met two very good friends, and started training to become a Valkyrie and defend the world against the Honkai. Mei was ever fearful of the Honkai within her and agreed to let Himeko implant a heart bomb. The bomb has a sensor that will start a countdown if it detects Hersher impulses within Mei. During her training, May and her friends, Kiana and Bronya, took on many missions that included stopping an ancient Honkai monster, Chio, and recovering a runaway battleship known as the Selini. May also demonstrated her superb cooking abilities. She even learned to play video games. But things would once again turn for the worst. Shortly after graduating as fully minted Valkyries, May, Kiana, and Bronya were sent to Shikshal's Oceania branch to recover a Hersher core the Gem of Desire. The gem was placed in an ex-Valkyrie named Wendy, who served as its human vessel. But Wendy eventually lost control and became a Hersher herself. While the young Valkyries battled Wendy, Kokolia from Sheiksal's rival faction of Anti-Entropy ambushed them, using a brain chip implant to control Bronya and capture both Wendy and May. While May was held as a prisoner to be experimented upon for her Hersher powers, Bronya chose to sacrifice herself by burning out her brain chip so that Kiana and the others could rescue May and escape. May soon realized that her friends often suffered grievously just to save her. A sense of helplessness and a matching desire to get stronger began to grow in her heart. That wasn't the end of the bad news. As Teresa and the Far East Branch worked around the clock to wake Bronya from her coma, Sheiksal overseer Otto Apocalypse suddenly abducted Kiana and took her to his secret headquarters. It turned out that the Overseer always had a secret plan of reviving a Hersher known for her burning hatred against humanity. May, once hopeful that she could protect the world as a Valkyrie, realized that she simply wasn't strong enough. 
Bronya went into a coma to save her, Kiana was kidnapped, and her ultimate superior, Otto Apocalypse, turned out to be a scheming supervillain who would soon unleash a terrible Honkai disaster upon the entire planet. Once again, May's life entered another pivotal moment. Kiana was revealed to be an artificial clone designed by Otto that served one purpose only, to serve as a vessel to Sidin, the second Hersher who was defeated in the year 2000. To rescue Kiana and stop the impending Honkai eruption, Teresa of the Far East Branch rebelled against Overseer Otto. May also became part of the alliance forged by Teresa and Anti-Entropy. And together they fought their way into the headquarters of Sheiksal itself. While battle raged, Sidin began to stir in her slumber. The second Hersher gradually assumed control over Kiana's body and summoned a horde of Honkai beasts. To help clear the way to the possessed Kiana, Teresa decided to remove the heart bomb from May. May was grateful for Teresa's trust. Armed with the power of the Hersher within, she easily defeated numerous enemies. But all her struggles were in vain. When the rebels stepped into the heart of Sheiksal, Sidin's persona had already succeeded in fully possessing Kiana. A terrible battle followed. Sirin tore away the Gem of Conquest from May's body and acquired even greater powers. The brutal removal of the Hersher Corps also took May out of the fight. Just when all hope was lost, Himeko entered into the fray and bravely fought Sidin. Her selfless fight gave everyone the time they needed to escape. Teresa and the exhausted rebels withdrew from Shiksal. They failed to stop Otto and Seating and became fugitives on the run. The Battle of Sheiksal was yet another blow in May's life. She couldn't save her best friend. Searing even took May's core, gaining greater powers to wreak havoc on the entire planet. And in the face of such an enemy, May's only option was to flee. Having been on the run for four months, Teresa came across witness reports of Kiana at Ark City, located in Shenzhou. Teresa, Bronya, and May tried contacting an intel dealer named Grey Serpent. Instead, they came across the Ningyo, a cyborg girl who might know Kiana's whereabouts. But Sheiksal's agent Rita suddenly appeared and defeated the three fugitives. They were forced to retreat with the Ningyo. The bad news was that the Ningyo no longer had any useful data after being formatted by Rita. May, who felt she had been performing poorly in battle, asked Dr. Tesla to make her an augmented battle suit to work better with her residual Hersher powers. Meanwhile, the fugitives also decided to split their forces in two. Teresa would respond to Kokolia's request and head to the deep located in the Pacific to retrieve the Gem of Desire. May and Tesla would return to AE headquarters with the Helios to repair the Ningyo for data salvaging and locate Kiana's whereabouts. While May and Tesla worked on the Ningyo, the cyborg suddenly conveyed a message from Rita. Rita revealed that Kiana was indeed in Ark City to investigate a mysterious serpent-backed company. Kiana even agreed to form a temporary alliance with Rita. But Rita soon walked into a world serpent trap and lost her S-rank Valkyrie powers. Kiana was also captured by the world serpent. With little options left, Rita thus decided to call May for support. Though suspicious of Rita, May would not give up any chance of reuniting with Kiana and went back to Ark City eventually. May was also surprised that Rita did not lie and even tried working with her. May did get what she wanted, reuniting with Kiana. She asked her friend to return to the Hyperion. However, Kiana chose to stay in Ark to stop the World Serpent from creating an artificial Honkai eruption in the city. A World Serpent mercenary named Raven tried to stop Kiana and the two girls fought her off only to realize that Raven succeeded in delaying them. A wounded May could only see her friend tapping into the Forbidden Void powers to send the detonating Honkai reactor away from the city and save millions of people. Kiana passed out from overexerting herself and fell. Her deadly descent was stopped by a tree that sprouted from a lance. May rushed forward to save her friend, only to find out that Durandal the most powerful S-rank Valkyrie of Shiksal had arrived first. And this Valkyrie was ordered to take Kiana away. No matter how hard May fought, she couldn't stop Durandal. Once again, the cruel hands of fate tore them apart. The attempted reunion with Kiana at Ark City only deepened May's angst. She was too weak to stop Shiksal, 
and her weakness allowed them to take Kiana. Though imprisoned at Sheiksal's Vemer Labs in North Africa, Kiana managed to escape during the chaos caused by a World Serpent attack. She used her void powers again and teleported herself to Nagazora, the place where she first met Mei. Dr. Tesla detected the energy fluctuations from Kiana's teleportation and thus the fugitives headed toward the city that was destroyed by the Honkai eruption three years ago. Mei and Tesla arrived at the city ruins and tried looking for Kiana. Instead, they found scavenging children living in shelters who survived the Honkai disaster. And the sensei protector of these children who helped build their shelters was none other than Raven, the world serpent mercenary that Mei fought in Ark City. When facing rising sea levels and Honkai resurgence, and also due to her need to protect the children, Mei agreed to set aside hostilities and join forces with Raven. Together, they located Kiana's whereabouts and even defeated the Honkai dragon Benaris that was trying to protect its queen. Then Raven revealed her intent for coming to Nagazora. She wanted to kill Kiana and end the threat of the Honkai she poses. Nevertheless, Raven gave Mei a chance to stop herself. Mei drew her blade without hesitation and ended her brief alliance with Raven. But without her Hersher gem, Mei was no match against Raven. The mercenary even scoffed at her, calling her no different than an ordinary human. Mei knew that Raven would kill Kiana once she was defeated. She decided to sacrifice herself and started concentrating Honkai energy within her. Raven was shocked. She just witnessed a Corliss ex hersher releasing a sudden burst of terrible power. She therefore allowed Mei to take Kiana away. After enduring many battles and defeats, Mei was finally able to bring Kiana home. But then Dr. Tesla told her the bad news. The three Hersher cores within Kiana had overloaded her body with Honkai infection. She had less than two months to live. Mei found herself utterly helpless after hearing the bad news. She also found that Kiana had lost several senses and could not even taste the food she cooked. The World Serpent, however, was well aware of the relationship between Mei and Kiana. Kevin Kaslana, the sire of the World Serpent, met Mei in person. He was a previous era survivor and lauded as their most powerful warrior. Kevin promised Mei that the World Serpent could save Kiana's life, and that would require Mei to simply become a Honkai Hersher once again. Once Mei became a Hersher, one of the Hersher cores infecting Kiana would dissipate and reappear in Mei instead, greatly reducing Kiana's infection. But Mei would have to leave Kiana and join the World Serpent to ensure that their grand project succeeds. And when Project Stigma successfully reforms the human race and defeats the Honkai, Kiana would no longer have to sacrifice herself to protect the world. To save her dying friend, Mei accepted the Serpent's offer without hesitation. And shortly after making her choice, a channel into the Sea of Quanta suddenly appeared in Nagazora. It turned out that Otto had fired the second Divine Key to create a channel right through the sea. And this was only possible because of the deal that Kevin and Otto made a few days ago. Kevin told Mei that she should take this chance to absorb Honkai energy seeping from Nagazora and complete her metamorphosis. Everything that began in Nagazora would end in the same city. Three years ago, Kiana stopped Mei from becoming a Hersher and the two girls became best friends. And now, Mei has decided to become a Hersher once more just to save Kiana. When the transformation is complete, Mei will have to betray her friends and join forces with the enemy. But that's the price she needs to pay. Entering the darkness is the only way she can return Kiana to bliss. We're happy that you managed to stay with us and reach the end of this video. We would also like to know what you think about the story so far and what you would like to see next. Background history of the factions such as the World Serpent, Sheiksal and Anti-Entropy? Or background stories of characters on your Valkyrie roster? perhaps even secret technologies of the previous era. Do leave your opinions in the comments section. We'll see you next time.